Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today, based on the thumbnail and title, I'm sure you can guess, we are going to be talking about uh, the Pokemon anime. And in particular, I want to talk about the World Coronation series. I almost forgot it for a second. Uh, and and some even more particularly, who is going to be at the top? Because right now it's like, okay, so anybody from... Uh, ooh, what is it like? Basically, whatever. Like the ninth spot and down is in some capacity either in the Ultra series, the, uh, uh, what a, god, Pokeball name, Great Ball or Pokeball or whatever series. Like, they're in, the, like, the, the much lower ranks, um, depending on your score. Ash, I think, is currently in the Great Ball series. I'm not sure at, as far as the, an, uh, anime goes in Japan. Um, but once you get to the eighth, like, the top eight, those guys are in a whole other level. They they take part at the end of like, well, I guess the season. Uh, they take part in a tournament of those eight. Uh, very similar to the world, uh, no, uh, the Galar Star Tournament. Oh, God, I haven't even done it in Sword and Shield yet. Um, but very similar to that, kind of similar honestly to the uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield's regular uh, end tournament thing where a bunch of named characters show back up for a tournament. Um, but, those eight characters end up doing some stuff, and they're like the top ones that you have to beat, uh, ultimately. And right now, we know of three, uh, specifically, that are currently in the top eight. And one is Leon, obviously, because he's like the best. He's number one in the ranking. Uh, then you have Lance, and you have, uh, I think Lance was number two, honestly. And then you have Raihan, and I forget if Raihan's number three or just in there. Uh, but the three of them are in the top eight. And... That made me think, who are the other, um, who, who, who would be the other members of the top eight? Now, granted, my mindset going into this video was thinking, okay, well, Ash is going to be one of the top eight. And I could be wrong about that eventually. Maybe he never makes it, makes it to that point. Uh, and the series ends just like, he's still working towards it. I don't know. Um, but I always figured that he would make it to the top eight. And I, I doubt that he'll beat Leon unless they have a whole other goal for the next series, for the next generation. Um, but I always assumed that he would make it at least to the top eight and even make it to the point where he could battle Leon. Or honestly, I was thinking maybe he gets, maybe, maybe the tournament is very fluid and Leon is part of it and he battles him like right off the bat and then gets defeated. And that's just it. And then, then he still has the goal of defeating Leon and has a goal of getting back up there or whatever. I digress. Either way, my, my, my thought process was that Ash is one of them. So then we technically have four characters that are in the top eight. So who are the other four? Um, well, that brings me to my first pick. Um, and I think a lot of people agree with this. Uh, I can't say I've really seen anybody since they first uh, announced that the World Coronation series of the thing. Um, but I always figured that everybody assumed that Cynthia from Sinnoh would show up. She is an incredibly popular character. She has a Garchomp, which is a very popular Pokemon. She is known to be like the hardest champion uh, in the entire series, or at least one of them. Um, I think Leon, eh, I don't know. New games are so, newer games are so different compared to the older games uh, as far as difficulty goes. But I, I mean, as far as just memorable characters, Cynthia is known to be one of them. She showed up in multiple games. Uh, she showed up in the anime a couple of more, a couple more times outside of her uh, region. And so she's just very, uh, a very uh, highly contended character to show up in the tournament. And I think she will show up. I think no matter what, she will be one of the characters uh, that Ash has to face in the course of the World Coronation series, but I think she will definitely be number one of the number eight that go up there. I think she will definitely be one of the eight that are up there that Ash eventually will have to face. Now, Cynthia, I think, was an easy pick because because of her popularity. She is so popular. I think that um, I, I think that she is just kind of a given. Uh, so I kind of had to get a little more creative with my thoughts on the other three. Um, so. I, I have at least four picks. I have you know, five picks even. Um, two of which I'm not 100% sure, and a couple of which I could see at the very least, more likely. Um, now, I, 
I, I've kind of gone into this thinking, I don't want them all to be champions. I don't want them all to be champions. We already know that Raihan's in it, so it's clearly open to gym leaders too, and really anybody that could get in to the top eight. So it's not necessarily a champion's cup. It, it really could just be anybody that's, that's part of it. Um, so I've also included some characters that I think are tough enough to make it up to that point. Um, or at the very least would be an interesting character to bring back, especially since they build Pokemon Journeys as being like a, oh, Ash is globetrotting. He's meeting characters that he's hasn't seen in a while. And he's kind of done that. Uh, he, he at the very least reunited with, uh, uh, Karina. I, I, I forget if she, if he is reunited with anybody else, but like at the very least he's, he's seen Karina again. Um, but I, I think I think it would be really interesting if once he got to the top eight, suddenly it was like, oh, here's a character that he hasn't seen in a while. Um, but I'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to talk about the characters that I think have a better shot than those. Um, and the first one I think, honestly, I want to see is Agatha. Um, we've only in the in terms of the anime, we've only really seen her like once uh, outside of just like side things like uh, Generations or Chronicles or whatever. And in that context, she was taking over the Viridian Gym uh, during Ash's time back in Kanto for the uh, the Battle Frontier. So I think it would be really interesting to see her in a spot of more of than just a fill-in interim gym leader. Uh, she, I think she was billed as an Elite Four member back then too, but I definitely want to see her be... See, uh, I, I definitely want to see her do something a bit more uh, that fits her role as an Elite Four member. And also, I, I, I want to say, like, so, Cynthia, I think, is a shoo -in. Um, But I also would like to see some more female representation in the top eight. And I think that she also fits the bill of, like, oh, she's an older veteran trainer. So I want to see her do some really cool stuff with her Gengar. Maybe she has a Mega Gengar. Or honestly, no. What, what, what am I even saying, Mega? What, I honestly could see her coming in with a uh, Gigantamaxed Gengar, and that would be her ace. Uh, so that would be really cool, and especially since now we have so many more ghost types for her to pull from. I, I definitely think it would be really cool to see her do something more current, and they could give her her Let's Go outfit and everything. I think it would be really cool. The next character that I think has a, at least a small chance is a more recent character, and I think, honestly, Alon could come back. Uh, Alon's a weird character because when he was first introduced, not only was he, like, a really side character, uh, more involved in, like, the kind of, like, I guess you could technically call them, like, OVAs, uh, but, like, the side stories involving Mega Evolution and all that, um, but, but he, he's weird because he, when he was introduced, he was, he said he didn't have any interest in becoming, uh, like, a gym challenger or, or even going into the, to the, like, Kalos, uh, league and then suddenly he won the tournament and uh became well not the champion but be he he became like the tournament lead uh winner so it's a weird thing with him but i definitely think he deserves the top spot or like a top spot because he he genuinely does have uh a very strong team uh as far as the anime goes and he as him and ash really had a really big battle at the end of the kalos league and Honestly, given that he did win over Ash, and he has a Mega Charizard, I would love to see a character use a Mega Pokemon against a Gigantamax or just a Dynamax Pokemon in general. I think that's something that they, they've shied away from Megas, but I think that if done right, they can definitely uh, kind of mix them, at least in terms of the anime. Um, and honestly, like the whole thing about G uh, Dynamax and Gigantamax is that they're giant Kaiju. So... Having a smaller, powered-up Pokemon fighting a Gigantamax Pokemon would be really cool. So I think Mega Charizard X versus Gigantamax Charizard. It would be very, very cool. The next character that I want to bring to attention is Volkner. He's a character that actually has a lot in common with uh, Raihan in that he has, well, they, they, their rivals are not exactly on the same level, but they're both rivals of very high-level Pokemon trainers. So Raihan is a, is a rival of Leon, who is the champion of Galar, and then Volkner is the rival of Flint, who is an Elite Four member in Sinnoh. And also it would bring in, because on, honestly we all expect 
uh, Sinnoh Remix in 2021. So I think it would be a good idea to have a little bit more other than Cynthia peppered in to kind of tease and hint and, and even like even not hint because by that point, by the time we find out who the other uh, members of the top eight are, uh, I could definitely see us already knowing what next year's game is going to be. Um, but beyond that, I think it would be smart to have, he, he's a likable character, he's, I think, I'd, I'd like to think he's a character that people like a lot. Um, he's got an interesting, uh, cast of Pokemon, and I, I honestly think that he could, uh, really put up a good fight, he, and also he's, he's an electric type gym leader, so we already have three dragon type, well, I guess technically, no, yeah. Uh, well, okay, so here's the thing. So, Cynthia is not technically a Dragon-type uh, exclusive gym leader, but her main, her ace is a Dragon. Um, so, we already have, like, basically three Dragon-type gym leaders, or characters in general. So, it'll be interesting to have a trainer that is maybe a bit, has, has a different type of uh, Pokemon. He's also got a Raichu, so that kind of uh, parallels Ash with his Pikachu. So I think that would be a good uh, kind of... A, I, I, honestly, they're not going to all battle each other because eventually they'll just like whittle each other down in, in separate parts of the bracket. But I, I think it would be interesting to see Ash come into contact with him again uh, because the Ash's time in Sinnoh was a big uh, point in which Ash grew a ton as a trainer before he was nerfed in uh, the Black and White series. Um... So I, I like I would like to see him come into contact with a trainer that saw him at his at ne at his near best in Sinnoh and now Ash is a champion straight up. So I, I think that's an interesting dynamic, and I, I want to see. I, I also just really, really like Volkner. I, I think he's a cool character, and I would love to see more of him. All right, so the last two are not exactly characters that I think a lot of people think about very much. Um, at the very least, Alon is more recent, and Volkner is a uh, gym leader, so it's it's the kind of thing where it's like, okay, you know what, you could you could see them being part of it. Uh, the last two, I think, are more just kind of more interesting, uh, and would be really cool to see come back. Um, the first one I is probably even less thought about than the next one after that. Um, but the first person I want to talk about is Harrison. It's the guy with the blaze again. He's super cool. He's older. He he had an he had an older presence compared to Ash, and he clearly had been around even before he got to the Silver Conference. So I, I would love to see him return. Um, him and him and Ash had a good dynamic going on before their battle. And honestly, out of all of Ash's like tournament level friends that like he he meets like oh Cameron and. Black, in the black and white series in Unova, uh, like I said, Harrison and that guy with the with the meow, uh, with the, the with like the hat. He he met them in Hoenn. Um, I guess you could call like I don't know. He, Ash kind of met all of his like rival. I, I guess Tobias would be the the equivalent in this case uh, for Sinnoh. But as far as all those characters that he basically meets at the final Pokemon League tournament, um, Harrison has always been my favorite. I think. Um, he, he's, again, got Blaziken, which is very, very cool. He's got an interesting cast of Pokemon. He, I, he had another, he had a Hound, Houndoom, and a Miltank, and then a Kecleon, and a Hypno, and Steelix, and a Sneasel. And Sneasel's one of my favorite Pokemon, so I would love to see his, his new team for what he would be like after the Silver Conference. After he's won that, uh, maybe he took on the, the Elite Four of Johto, uh, and, and maybe he's grown and traveled a couple, uh, to a couple different regions, and maybe he's evolved to Sneasel into a Weavile. So I, I would definitely love to see, and honestly, that would be another tie to maybe he went to Sinnoh. Um, but I, I would love to see him come back because he's honestly my favorite out of all of the like tournament friends that Ash makes. And I think he he was an interesting character because he was because he was so seasoned by the time uh, he got there. Uh, now, granted, Ash was also pretty seasoned by the time they got to the Silver Conference, but it seemed like Harrison had a bit more uh, experience overall. By that point, even just Ash was like, he, he was seasoned, but not like really seasoned. Like maybe this was Harrison's third tournament or something like that in terms of uh, Pokemon leagues. I don't know. Either way, I would like to see him come back because I think he's a really cool character. And that brings me to my final character pick. Um, now, 
granted, not all of these are going to get in to it, but this is a this is a character that I think not a lot of people have thought about, but maybe more than Harrison, obviously, because out of all of the uh, out of, out of all of the tournament rivals that Ash has met at the tournaments, uh, this one might be the only one he's ever had come back. Um, honestly, I, I haven't thought about that very much. I, I don't know if any of the other characters have come back after their Pokemon League appearances, but this one I think is an interesting pick because they've come back in in both the main series uh, show and in like the in like side material as well. And that character is Richie, Ash's rival from the very first Pokemon League in Indigo Plateau, uh, and he's got his partner Richie. I uh, I assume that Richie still has not evolved, um, but I would love to see. Uh, Zippo, now a Charizard. Maybe he has a Gigantamax Charizard or or Mega. I don't know. I mean, like, the, the odds are they're never going to bring back a Pokemon character with Mega. But uh, maybe he's got a Gigantamax Charizard. Um, he's got he's got a Butterfree that can Gigantamax. Um, I, I think it generally it would be really cool to have him come back, especially now that Ash is a champion. And it's it, I think out of all the characters that help show Ash being a a ma more matured and better trainer than he was when he first started. Having Richie come back and having them battle each other would be super cool. And in this case, maybe Ash could recall uh, Charizard and have them battle it again. And only this time, maybe they both have Charizard and they can go go toe to toe and Ash's Charizard now listens to him. And I, I think that would be a really cool uh, battle to have. And I think out of, like, again, out of all of his old rivals that are currently still uh, trainers, as far as we know, Richie, I feel like, would be the one to come back and and and, and finally let Ash get his revenge, in a sense. Um, because I just think that it's, 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 that's such a hard battle back in the original Pokemon League uh, for Ash. And I think now that he's a champion and he's had so much experience prior to that, even if he wasn't a champion uh, for the Alola region, I think he he could still stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with even the best. So I think Richie is an interesting character. And I'd love to see a new redesign of his like outfit and just what he would look like now uh, as far as the show goes. So those are five characters that I think could really fill in, although actually technically six because I mentioned Cynthia and I guess technically seven because I mentioned Ash. No, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no, I, okay. Those, those are seven characters that I think could potentially fill in the spot. Uh, Ash and Cynthia basically being like shoe-ins unless they do something weird with the uh, spots. Now granted, those spots are already filled to some degree, so Ash is gonna have to make room to get in there. But I think those are seven interesting uh, picks for the uh, top eight in the World Coronation series. Uh, some of them I don't think are going to actually make it in. Like, as much as I'd love it, I'd love Harrison to get in. Um, but I'm not 100% sure that the anime team remembers him at all. Uh, but I could definitely see Agatha or Valkner or even Alon getting in. Uh, honestly, Richie has a pretty decent chance, too, uh, if they want to go down the nostalgic route with that whole thing um but uh, but as far as shoeins definitely i think cynthia uh maybe not even ash but definitely cynthia i think and honestly i would have said gary uh if if he had not become just like a professor-esque character um and si similar honestly like gary in the anime has basically become hop in the vit in the game like where they both were rivals up until a certain point then they decided to become like researchers. So um, if, if Gary had not said that he wanted to become a researcher and then went off to do so, I honestly would have put him up there too. Uh, but obviously that's just how it is, he's not. Um, granted, I would love to see Gary show back up. That's for another, <laughs> that's for another video though. Um, but yeah, those are all the characters that I think will show up. Valkner, uh, Agatha, Cynthia, I think Ash will make it in. 
um, maybe Richie or Harrison, but that's going to do it for me. Uh, let me know what you guys think about my picks. Do you think any of my characters that I, I chose out are going to make it in? Uh, if so, or if not, let me know down below in the comments section. Uh, do you have any characters come, do any come to mind that you would think of that can make it? And, uh, do you think they're all gym leaders or champions? Or do you think some of them are, uh, characters that are just kind of like they're living their lives and they're just very good? Uh, then let me know down below in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, you know, and it would help me out. Uh, and if you want to see more, remember to subscribe because, uh, you know, that would also be very good. Uh, I will see you guys in another video, hopefully. See you later.